Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here. Welcome to the latest episode of the Pokemon Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. Answer me the question today, which comes from Guns and Gravy. Do you arrange your Pokemon's moves in a certain order? For example, alphabetical or by type, etc. Sometimes I might put a Pokemon's move first that is the more like the, like the one I'm most likely to use. But other than that, I don't really. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, if you have a question to suggest for everyone, tweet it to me with the hashtag ATLQOTD. Liam! Hello, everybody. Those handlebars on Mudsdale were ridiculous, by the way. A history tells us that the vast Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial to ever be held. You did a fine job clearing it just as expected, Liam. Didn't I just? Oh my god. You've cleared all seven trials of Alola's Island Challenge now. That's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and really become a great trainer, haven't you? And he could never have, he could never have done it without you, Prelume. Let me heal you up real quick. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Good stuff. Look at the two of you. I think this might just work out. No, I'm quite sure of it. Good. I am a Mudsdale. The sun flute, uh, the sun flute and the moon flute, if we both sound them together. Let's go, Liam. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Up all the massive, wonderful stairs. Let's go. Oh, don't follow me then, Lily. Here we go. Time for the world to get crazy. I need to go to ultra space. So let's do it. I love how this imploring bit of gameplay was just running up some stairs. Much like the uh, ridiculous ladder in Metal Gear Solid 3. I can feel the strong power of the moon. No, you can't. Nebby, I'm going to make my mother wake up and see the reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. No one cares. The sun flute. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. I got something that was made to fit your hand. <laughs> hey! Beautiful. Right. I don't want to get my feet wet. Can I not just like... Okay. Should I stand over there? It, it isn't actually labelled, is it? It's not labelled sun flute and moon flute. Like, which side? This is the altar of the moon. Oh, sorry. I have to go this way. Look at my long spaghetti legs. Let's play stuff. Will you blow the moon flute? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. I know the tune. Ready? Go for it, Lily. Oh wait, no, it's something completely different. Da, 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 da. Nope. Go on then. Wow, it's like a big clock. Oh my goodness. Put Nebby in there. Well. Oh, look who it is. Look at your floaty bag. That's going to rip your bag if you don't. There you go. That's better. Mate, I'm going to be well powerful, Rickard. Here it comes. Ta-da. Mate, look how big I am. I've got great good wings. Take that flap, you knob. There you go. Well, isn't that wonderful? Beautiful stuff. Hey, Lunala. Okay, what you got for me? Hello! Remember me? Nebby, thank goodness you're right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. Never imagined that sounding the flute would give you so much power. I'll let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Mate, I'm gonna kill everyone! Not in all of my reading. Did anyone ever come across any hint that I would evolve? you'd evolve into the legendary Pokemon? Oh, don't. Whatever. Please, Lunala. No. Nebby, please. I need to see my mother. Mate, gotta find me first. I ain't doing nothing for you no more. Well... Oh, it's just gonna take. Oh yeah, we do. We don't have to fight it yet. We fight it later, I think. 
Yep, here we go. Look at that third eye. Bouncing on your boy's third eye. Oh, look, there's an ultra wormhole. Let's go. Swoop and floop into ultra space. I love ultra space. The music's sick. There you go. I mean, he did take us there without any knowledge that the air was breathable, but okay. Ooh, it's spooky. Okay. Let's go. How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected, but the air's so thick here, it almost hurts to breathe. Are you scared? I'm not sure. Nebby evolved, and I'm in a different world. There's just too much that has happened. We should go. Alright. I've got to stay here, otherwise things will go wrong. What is it? I just told you. He think us you have to stay here. That's what I literally just said. Will you pay attention, you blonde bimbo? I'm so grateful you're bringing me here, Nebby. Thank you. I guess I have to go the rest of the way myself. Mate, what's that Liam lad? Chop liver, you ignorant cow. Yeah. <laughs> what about me? Let's go. Oh, look who it is. He looks bored as hell. I'm the team school boss. I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what Big Bad Guzma has to say. Y'all are stupid. Oh, yeah? Why is that? How in the world did you even get to this place? I've no idea how you did it, but here you are. It's all dark here. i got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those things. Go on, lad. Look at him, just like, I'm going to catch me a Nilego. Yeah, but he didn't try catching it with a Pokeball. That's, that's the idiot that he is. Well, but it possessed me, and that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild, and I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became somebody else. I finally felt what it fear feels like. It was terrifying. I may be the team school boss, and I've never been scared of nothing or nobody, but that lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She's lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Alright, you have fun. Guess I'm going to go fight the good fight. Ooh, there's all the creepy Nilegos everywhere. Let's do it. Oh, it's the crazy lady. Bum, 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 bum. The music's so good. That's it, you all leave. And just like that, the shopkeeper appeared. Look at it! My, the world of my Ultra Beasts, the world where the only thing that exists is the love between Nilego and myself. So beautiful, so delicious, so full of tentacles. This is the real paradise. And yet you, why must you continue to pester me? I'm sick of you, sick through and through. Who told you that you could come here to the perfect, beautiful world of my, of my beasts and me? Yeah, bogger off. Think about what you're saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Don't you care what happens to him? Poor lad. He just wants to go home. Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Look around you. Look at this beautiful world that I've finally come to. You want me to go back to that world? That's what you've come to bother me for? Even you cannot be that stupid. Yeah, just leave, love. You always do that. It's just like it was it was back in Aether Paradise. Only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? And why shouldn't I? I can live here in a world filled with only the things that I love. And I will live here. I mean, I can sympathise with her. Even though she's mental. Why would you want to be in a world where the stuff you don't love is? I don't care if you're my child or not. I don't care if you were loyal to me or not. I don't care if the rarest Pokemon here is the, if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you. 
I'm totally on loser mean side. That's right, all I need all I need to exist in my world are the things that I want to have with me. Everything else is just a bother to me. I am the one who's sick of you, mother! Children, children are not just things that belong to their parents. Pokemon are not just things that a trainer can do whatever they want to. Come on. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. We're not things for you to collect. We're not made for you to just discard when you're bored with us. That is terrible, mother. You are terrible. She don't care. Terrible? Me? How am I different from any Pokemon trainer? Like your little friend here. What do you do with a Pokemon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. Enough with this useless talk, Lily. I will never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me, ever. Back when you were small, you wouldn't listen to er you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, you were even adorable to me. But you changed. You become ugly. Ever since you met this boy, Liam, you've learned to defy your own mother. Liam, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nilego and me? It is not to be born. And with Nilego's power, I shall show you how wrong you were to come here. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Come on. What's the plan? Oh, it's the crazy plan. With her beast ball. It's weird that Nilego's controlling her mind and making her be this way, but then it still lets her catch it, it in a beast ball. And then it becomes a Powerpuff Girls looking villain. Basically. Although, let's be real, Luzamine looks hotter with darker hair. It's true. I can say that, she's over 40. Hello, she a golfer. Okay. With a Grovile to start. Alright. Oh, it's got that aura though. Okay, Brian, I don't think this is your fight. Oh, it's level 50. Holy moly, yeah, this ain't your fight. Let's bring in Grizzly. Oh my god, level 50. Okay, we're going to have to Primal Ground on our way through all of this. Oh my god. Boom! Are we ready? Desolate land. Detect is fine. You want to get ready for a lava plume? Boom, Grovile! There you go. That's what I needed. My word. Brian's level 39. Good job, Brian. Wants to learn Sky Uppercut? I mean, it's strong, isn't it? 85 power instead of Brick Bray. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Although now is not the time. Umbreon! Okay. We can, we can take on an Umbreon, okay. We've got the sunlight on our side. Let's go with... Let's go Precipice Blades, though. Boom! Eh, not a great hit. Guard Swap? Okay, isn't that good for me, though? Oh, it's, it switched all changes. Okay, that's, that's fine. There have been no changes. So I'll just take this free turn to almost kill you. Oh, mean look, so I can't escape. Okay. With those crazy Esper eyes. We'll use Brick Break to finish off. And Umbreon is down. I'm no longer I'm no longer that worried. Depends if she has any legendaries or anything. We're about to hit level 50. Axew! Oh, mate. Axew ain't gonna do nothing to me. Mold Breaker. Breaking that mold. Precipice Blades. I'm not really that worried about losing me, I'll be honest. She's not really putting up much of a fight. Who's next? Yay, level 50! Come on, who's next? Who you got? I don't why would you want to learn bulk up now? Shell gone. Okay. So you've had an axe you, the start of the Haxorus line. You've had a shell gone, which is the middle of the Salamence line. So what are you gonna finish off with? A Garchomp? Scary face dropping my speed. I mean, I was already slow anyway. Let's go with a brick break to finish it. We've got one last Pokemon. Oh, Dragon Claw. Okay. Did nothing. So down goes Shogun. 
Washing machines live longer with shell gone. Wait, what was that? Kabuto to finish. We've got extreme sunlight, so you can't even use... I mean, you can use Mega Drain, but you can't use um, water type moves. And this is super effective. So Luzamine was a real loser. Good stuff. We beat Luzamine in a matter of seconds. Go on, cluck like a chicken. I don't understand why we don't have to fight the Luzamine Nilego hybrid. Why is it that losing a Pokemon battle is what makes Luzamine. Help us, please, Lunala! Oh, yeah, it's Lunala that helps, that's why. Yeah, it knocks out the Pokemon. But I feel like we should have had to fight that. That would have made more sense. Although, I guess in the new games, we're going to have to fight the Necrozma fusions with Solgaleo and Lunala. Duskmane, Necrozma, or... No. Yeah, Duskmane or Dawn Wings. There you go. Separate. Super, super separate. I don't have any tea left. There you go. I'm sorry that I made myself into a cloak. And down she goes. Boof. Mother. Oh, I hate the I hate the credits. Uh, the the credits. The the captions. The the subtitles that you can't skip because they're part of the scene. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh, hurry it up, Lily. Yeah, you dumbass. Look what you did. Come on. Well, heh. Come on. Don't, don't touch your nose, it's weird. Boop! When did you start becoming beautiful? Alright, this is all well and good, but we need to leave. Any time now. Have your motherly moment later. There we go. Come on. What now? What's going on? Just when things were getting good. Yeah, he loves the idea of mother and daughter action. Come on. Go away, like You're not fun. There are so many now, Lego. Yeah, I think they're telling us to leave. Well. Mate, we need to leave or I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, just transport us back. It's fine. I want to go back to Ultra Space. It was fun. Look at that. I was concerned, so I ascended. And what do I find but the legendary Pokemon and a strange hole in the sky? However, I'm relieved to see you all unharmed. Hapu? Is my mother? She's dead as a dodo. You there, big fellow. Carry the lady, will you? She is weak, but I do not believe she's seriously harmed. We should take her to be treated directly. Huh? Oh. Yeah, go on. Come on. Liam, you've done well in guiding Lily, though she's not a trainer. And Lily, you two gave it your best. We will wait for you down below. When you're ready, come find us. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you, Hapu. Come on. What's happening? Lunala, all I ever wanted to do was help you get back to your own home, but instead you helped me over and over. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mate, it's fine. Now I want to fight that little prick. What is it? That one. Don't like his air. Shall I guess what it is you're trying to tell us? You, you want to keep traveling together with Liam and me, is that it? Mate, I want to destroy him. I want to grind him into dust. Looks like I was right. Of course I was. After all, we've been together so long. We're family now, aren't we? Of course I can tell how you feel. Because I feel the same. We met so many people as we travelled around all of Alola's islands. Professor Kikui and Professor Burnett, Kahuna Hala and his grandson Hao, and of course, the hero who appeared to save you when the Spiro attacked. Our own Liam. And so many other people too. I don't know what in the world you... What the world you came from is like, but Alola's pretty great too. And of course you want to see it all. 
It's just like Kahunahala told us. You can go so many places and meet so many people, Pokemon and people, and they will enrich your life. May I am going to grind somebody into dust tonight. But not with me. I'm not a trainer, Nebby. I can't take you on the adventures you want. I can't give you the fierce battles you want. Liam, I want you to face Nebby as only a trainer can. I want you to give it a ball to call home. I know this is what Nebby wants. And it doesn't want this journey with you to end. And I want you to grant it its wish. Oh. I mean, sure. But we're going to do that in tomorrow's episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training. Thank <laughs> you.